Today, uh, we'll discuss about uh, the operators, precedence, and associativity rules. Okay. So, as I have discussed uh, probably in the you know, uh, classes before, that you know, uh, any language, programming language, you are when working with rather, right? You first uh, and show that what kind of data types and operators that this uh, particular programming language is offering so that based on which uh, you can you know write your programs and uh, uh, if uh, the necessary rules are necessary <coughs> productions if you require based on the existing one you can rather uh, write it down. okay so uh, today we'll see um, the precedence of operators, rather, right? Uh, see uh, the operators. Uh, probably when you have learned C language, you may have, uh, you know, uh, have categorized into different kind like you know, um, arithmetic operators, logical operators, bitwise operators, uh, um, relational operators, uh, you know, <clears throat> comma operators, size of and. Uh, uh, this all right under arithmetic you may have seen plus minus into divided all kind of thing uh, relational greater than less than uh, you know these are some operators we may have already studied as part of programming language right uh, so to perform arithmetic operation like addition subtraction multiplication division and mod difference between division and mod division will give you quotient as a result right so divide and mod will perform the division operation, but give you a quotient as a result here. And in division, that is slash, and uh, in mod, it will give you remainder as a result, right? Fine. And uh, you have some shortcut operators like uh, a uh, plus equal to and all. Using basically, when you have some operation uh, to be performed on lender, say for example, uh, a plus b, right? A plus b is the expression. Uh, you can see the LHS and uh, the first operand on the you know uh, operation, that means the left operand of the operation is same as that of LHS, then in that situation you can write, you can use the shortcut operator, which we can write like this, A plus equal to B, okay? Uh, generally relation operators are being used with some kind of condition, right? For example, you want to compare two operands, uh, A and B, okay? So, you use this relation operators, you want to relate both of them with some kind of operator. So, what will be the result of this particular operation? It results you either either true or false. So, based on the outcome being generated out of it, you are going to take an action here, rather, right? So, generally, these uh, relation operators are being used with conditional statements. For example, if statement, if a greater than b, it is true, then what is that you are going to do? You have certain statements to execute, right? So basically these are being used along with some conditional statements, okay? And uh, similarly here, you have logical, logical operations also being used in conjunction with the conditional statement because uh, it also returns you the true or false, right? You know the truth table of and. What is the truth table of and? When generally this is being used on um, bitwise uh, you know, uh, operands. So this is logical and A exclusive or B definition is A and B complement or A complement. So when you uh, check uh, the operand values of A and B with 0, 0, what do you get by substituting the same here in this formula? What do you get? You will get 0, you can check, right? So when you take 0, 1, you will get 1. When you have 1, 0, you will get 1. 
when it is when they are one one what do you get you will get b and zero when you have zero 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 and b complement means zero by b complement means it is zero so zero complement is one so zero into one so it is zero here or a complement and b a complement stands here zero zero complement is one b is zero so <coughs> one and zero is going to be zero so together is going to be zero and right so because both are zeros no? when it is zero one what do you get zero here what do you get b complement it's going to be zero so the whole together is zero but here a complement means when it is zero it is one a complement is one and b is one one into one is one so zero or one is going to be one here right so similarly you will calculate for the same so exclusive or operation if you see when they are same you are getting zero rather right <clears throat> when the operands are same that is zero zero or one one you are getting zero when the operands are different right when the operands are different means when it is zero one or one zero you are getting one okay so for exclusive or operation you will uh, be able to observe that when the operands are same you get zero when they are different you are going to get one rather right so it's how uh, these are the operations uh, being performed on the binary bits using this bit files uh, you know and uh, logical also we have seen when you have more than one uh, condition sometimes to be combined also you can use uh, you know you can use uh, uh, logical for example i want to check uh, whether a is greater than both b and c i can say a is greater than b and a is greater than c so in this and then if this condition is true i'll be excluding some statement what do you mean by this a greater than b is one uh, expression here uh, which is being evaluated with the relational operator called greater than this is also going to return some kind of binary value right let us say if it has returned true it means one and again there is another expression you have a greater than c and uh, this also after being evaluated let us say it has written two then both are true right if both are true uh, only then and will give you true if any one of them is false right or both of them are false then it will give you false it means zero it doesn't allow you to execute the statements so uh, logical statement logical uh, operands uh, operators we can use in conjunction with relational and as well with the conditional statements rather right so these are some of the operators you have uh, probably have studied uh, in C language, right? Um, so let us say, for example, I have one uh, expression like this, okay? I have an expression like A equal to P plus T into C by E. So here there are multiple you know, operators. You have plus, you have into, you have divide. So uh, the order in which I need to evaluate these uh, operator is the issue here, right? So how do you do that? Uh, you need to follow in programming language precedence of operators when you have multiple operators in the same given expression, right? Precedence of operators. So let us say, for example, um, I have defined a language where I have uh, set the rules for precedence in this order, right? Let us say into divide, okay, and mod have to be evaluated first, and uh, then say. Then say plus minus. Then say plus minus. So let us say I have defined uh, the rule for precedence uh, in a programming language like this: into divide mod with the highest. This is the highest, and this is the let us say lowest. Perfect fine. Now, while evaluating this particular expression. Uh, the compiler will now take this particular rule which is defined as part of the programming language to while evaluating these operations right 
So it evaluates the operation which is having the highest precedence outfit, right? Highest precedence outfit. So as per the rule defined here, you can see into and divide, both are having the higher precedence. I have defined uh, here both of them under the same category. Both are uh, higher precedence operators than plus minus, but both are equal as well here, right? Into and divide, they are higher and equal. So then again, an issue comes like uh, which one has to be evaluated out of it, into or divide, not a point. So now what I do is I need to set the associativity rule for the same. If I have multiple operators with the equal precedence, then which one has to be carried out first? What about left? What do you mean by left associativity? When you have multiple operators with the equal precedence, then you are going to evaluate it from the uh, left to right. Okay left to right. So in that case, now, now keeping in view of these rules, if I have to evaluate this, the same, how do I do that? Huh? Um, first one which is going to be evaluated is obviously into a divide, out of which into divide will have the equal precedence, highest and equal. So I will first go with into because into is coming first as when I am traversing from left to right because left associativity rule is given to me in associativity rules right so this is going to be the first one right this is going to be the first operation to be evaluated next operation going to be evaluated is obviously by rather right so this is going to be the second operation right this is going to be the second then what is left over is obviously plus, so I will evaluate this, right? So then, so now the computer is going to evaluate these operations in this order. So first, what will be evaluated? D into C, and then uh, this whole becomes an operand, right? This operand, then by E, it means the division operation will take place in the second phase. And then uh, this whole then becomes an operand for this op uh, operation plus. So then the next operation we carry out is nothing but the addition. That is B plus, right, this whole. It means the third operation will be plus. So first is into, right, and the second is here divide, and third is, you know, plus obviously, right? That is plus. And so this is the order. Got it. So uh, for uh, uh, you know the most of the programming language designers when they you know uh, write the rules uh, for associativity, you know for all the operations for all the operations they define left associativity only. But for exponential, you know for exponential they will define using the right associativity so when you have right uh, or sorry exponential operations right a power 2 kind of thing right a power 2 if you have how do we represent generally in pro different programming language different uh, symbols are being used for uh, you know exponential like uh, some Will use cap kind of thing. Uh, some you will use, you know, double asterisk. Like in Pascal, you know, double asterisk is being used for exponential. Right. So the symbol is going to be varied from particular programming language to particular programming language. So this exponential. When you have multiple exponential operations in the same given expression, how the evaluation will take place? The evaluation take place from right to left okay from right to left right so for exponential what is the rule associativity rule that is right associativity rule at the point right associativity
I think uh, I'm clear to all of you now. Uh, when you have multiple operators, you need to go with order of precedence. That is the first thing. And when you have multiple operators with the equal precedence, you will go with left associative. Most of the programming language designer will go with left associativity, except the exponential. For exponential, most of the programming language designers will go with right associativity. But again, it depends on the programming language designer to decide what kind of tool should be followed, rather, right? But as for the standards that I am discussing, right? Uh, this is the standard which is made across, you know, uh, uniform across all the platforms, right? So all the programming language designers will follow the same set of rules, right? So they will follow left associativity for all the operations, rather, right? Except the exponential. For exponential, they follow the right associativity. Based on this, uh, we'll discuss one uh, question which has been asked in OU external examination. Okay. Let us discuss one example question from OU external examination question paper. This was a question. Okay. Uh, I hope it is clear to all of you. Is it visible to you? Shall I increase this? Otherwise, yeah. So this is a question given in the OU external paper. Uh, assume the following rules of associativity and precedence for expression for expressions. Precedence is given here. Highest is given uh, from top to bottom, right? So top is the highest and bottom is the lowest. Parenthesized expressions are to be given more precedence, are the topmost precedence. Then uh, immediately next to it is given with into divide not. It means into divide not all three together put under the next category, but they are all having the equal precedence. Okay, it means that when uh, in this category, if the operators are repeated, then you have to apply the associativity rule. Right? And what is the associativity rule he has mentioned? To go with left to right. Okay, it means left associativity rule is given here, right? And next to this category, uh, you are given the operators. Uh, with plus, minus, ampersand, and mod. So all these together are having the equal precedence, but next to this category, right? So similarly, then you have minus. This is unary minus, right? This minus is binary. So binary is given higher precedence than unary in this particular example. But most of the programming languages will give unary minus uh, with the more precedence, right? right? Than compared to binary. So it is up to the language designer how we want to set the precedence we can set and how we want to set the associativity rule we can set but as per the you know standards i have discussed that you know you will go with these kind of precedence and these are the you know rules that uh, you know, most of the language designers will follow but now uh, pertaining to this particular question when we are seeing you can see this is the binary minus right so binary minus is having higher precedence than the unary minus okay uh, next to unary minus, we have another category that is uh, all relational operators. You can see equal, divide, uh, no, uh, divide equal. Uh, this is a shortcut operator. Uh, sorry, this is not equal, of course. Rather. Less than, less than equal, greater than equal, and uh, greater than, rather, right? And next to it, you have and, uh, and then next to and, this and is the logical and here, rather, right? And then next to it, you have is the or. Logical R, and then you have exclusive R, right? This is the twice exclusive R, right? So they are considered to be the lowest. So this is the, uh, you know, precedence uh, that uh, he has set across the different operators, uh, which he has mentioned rather now. And he said, when you have the operators with the equal precedence uh, repeated in the same given expression, you can go with left associativity rule. He said associativity rule applied from left to right. Okay. Now the question is show that order of evaluation of the following expressions by parenthesizing all expressions and placing a subscript on the right parenthesis to indicate the order. For example, the expression for, uh, you have a plus b into c plus d. So in this particular expression, you have how many operators? You have plus into n plus, right? 
So the order in which they are going to be evaluated is to be carried out based on this particular precedence rule that is given above rather, right? So in that case, what is the result that you're going to get? You will be getting like this. First into operation, right? Um, out of this who is having higher precedence into obviously. So B into C will be evaluated first. Then you have plus repeated, you know, two times. So which one is going to be evaluated first? This plus. Because the associativity rule given us left to right. So it means this is plus first, then this plus. So then you can see the result uh, that you get, which you need to represent for the same is in this order rather, right? B into C is first to be evaluated, then A plus B into C. So this is going to be second. And then this whole plus D is going to be three. So this must be the answer for this particular question. So similarly here, you can see I have given some more questions. This